Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. In the last episode, we ascended through the um, Ruinstrone Precipice, defeated Magma Worm Makar, and we are now on the Altus Plateau, and we're gonna explore these ruins here. Hey buddy! Perfumer's Ruins. Oh. I've not been a huge fan of the Perfumer's that we have encountered thus far. Poison Bloom. It's starting to get that kind of a little bit of lag there. Poison Bloom, Budding Cave Moss. Firebot. Oh, I missed. Wow, you're like... You were not a great perfumer. Oh my god, what are you? You're not a perfumer. No, you're something I don't want to fight while my game is lagging. Oh my god. Goodness gracious, this lag is killing me. It will literally be the death of me. Alright, Omen Killer Robe, Omen Killer Long Gloves, and Omen Killer Boots. Alright, I'm gonna jump back in here real quick. I'm actually gonna, uh, I'm gonna take a second, and I'm going to figure out what the issue with this is. So, okay, hopefully that did it. I, I closed everything, restarted it. Um, try and try it again, and I'm monitoring the CPU on on OBS now. All right. That was bizarre. Okay. Getting a lot of Altus Bloom. Some perfume bottles, which I don't actually use, but that's okay. Miranda powder. Um, just in case of a trap, I'm gonna get this. Uh, run around here for a second. There's more stuff in there, but looks like uh, lesser grade items. I didn't see any big shiny standing out. Didn't expect seems familiar. Perfumer's cookbook. Uh, uplifting aromatic boosts a boosts ally attack power and reduces incoming damage once. Spark aromatic uses FP to scatter sparks in a wide area. Oh, okay. It's pretty neat. Um, not really my playstyle, but I'm, I'm sure that it works for certain builds. Oh god, not you.
Okay. There we go. More perfume bottles. Oh. Oh, well, that was lucky. Uh, Altus Bloom, Poison Bloom, and Miranda Powder. And a Nascent Butterfly. Before I go downstairs. All right. Liar ahead. No boss ahead, but talisman. No trap ahead. Humorous Talisman. Raises potency of perfume items. Oh, pretty nice. Don't you dare. I have no idea what that gesture, or like what he's supposed to be saying. Don't you dare to. Okay. You were dead. You know, uh, for some reason, I was expecting something different in the Perfumer's Ruins, and I don't know why that was the case. I'm like, you know, you know, it makes a lot of sense that the Perfumer's Ruins would have Perfumer items. And for some reason, there's just like, oh, I was expecting other goodies. Perfumers. Okay, so there is a way down there, but I have to have Stone Sword Key, and I do not. Well, thank you for saving me the incredibly difficult task of looking left. Now, you're a very helpful statue. Thank you. Let's get these guys. Nicholas Lily. Is he gonna stop? No. Goodness gracious. That's kind of annoying. Got a lot of Mikola's Lily. And I got a Poison Bloom. And let's just use one of these neutralizing boluses. Golden Sunflower, nice. Finding all sorts of new stuff over here. Golden Roa? Nice. After this episode, I'm probably gonna back up my save here just to make sure I don't lose a ton of progress in case something catastrophic happens. I would really like a map. I don't see any of those on the... on the uh, world map. I 
do not want your laser beams. Mushroom, Altus Bloom. Oh, a field of jellies. A gold firefly. That's interesting. Golden Roa and Trina's Lily. The Sage's Cave. I'm not gonna explore it, but nice to have. You know, that way, that way you have it. Yeah, Jellies, you guys are awesome. Okay. Do you have any other cool stuff? Oh, were you Blood Rose? Yeah, Blood Rose, nice. I completely forget what you do, but for some reason, I really like having you. More Golden Roa. Alright, so these guys are back. No, okay. I was like, I haven't rested yet. mask and ruler's robe that seems like something that would be really good for like spell casters and stuff like that what the oh my god no i'm not in the mood for a dragon i'm just gonna hide i guess sacramental oh my god sacramental bud Okay, so, I don't think I can hide. Ancient Dragon, Lanciax. Oh, yeah, this seems doable for me. I can totally take that guy down. No, what the hell with that? Look at that. Oh my god, I'm getting out of here. There's absolutely no way I'm gonna fight that thing. Yeah, you have fun there, ancient dragon. Well, now I know why um, everything over there was dead. Is that asshole? I got a golden seed. Yeah. Can I use it? I cannot. The Lux Ruins. Oh, hey! How are you doing? This is a little, um, Volcano Manor lady. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Sure. Give me your hand. I will pray. That you follow the same path as Lady Tanith.
Why not? The Volcano Manor. Holy cow, that dude looks sick. Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you. A warrior of promise, I believe she said. Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor and resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us against the Erd Tree. Sure. Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable, but be sure to earn your keep. Drawing room key. You talk? The drawing room is through. Use the key, I. Oh, I want to talk to this dude. Well, no? that dude's armor is awesome. Perfume battle. In Bathan? Huh. This place is neat looking. Recusant finger. Letter from the Volcano Manor. Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor. Under Lady Tanith's guidance, may you tread the path of valor. Brave Tar under Lady Tan. Okay. And who might you be? You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Bit of an edgy dude. This blasphemous path leads only before you consider... Okay. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see what the uh, invitation said. Or the letter, I should say. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted, Old Knight Istvan. He can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Oh, neat. Okay. Why does the drawing room key open so many doors? Okay. 
dog ahead. upstairs unfathomable unfathomable sort ahead oh oh okay so we got a problem guy up here smithing stone six Giza. I got Giza's wheel. Oh! It's the Whirly Gigsaw. And in celebration, I will destroy their dining hall. There we go. Much better. I don't think I can use the Whirly Gigsaw. Yeah, that's a strength weapon, primarily. Strength 28. Still cool to have. I thought there was a... I thought there was supposed to be like a door or something up here. There's like nowhere for me to go in this place. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Ah! Here's the door. And here's another one. Can I open from this side? No problemo. Oh, what is that? That looks like a bad time is what that looks like. Talk to Lady Tanis one more time. Or Tanith. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so be it. But you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. They're very, very edgy people. I'm super serious. Let's see, uh, let's check out that, that hidden passage. They all died very, very quick. A budding horn. Oh my god, seriously? No. Oh, son of a bitch. Ooh. 
man. I am gonna go back and get it, though. Thankfully, it's not too much of a trek. It's actually very, very close. Why not? Gotcha. Bloodhound claws, okay. Fireproof dried liver. Another side of grace. Um, I saw that that was. I, I did see the outdoor thing, but there's more inside this. Uh, like a hidden passageway. There, there's one other route. a snail up there. Serpent arrow. Warriors Cookbook uh, 21. Oh, hey, look at that. Depraved Perfumer Carmon. Alright. I I'm not going to bring him. I'm not going to bring a perfumer in. Is this the. Uh... Oh, this is. Um... So I remember seeing a video about this. It was on a on a game ranks. Uh, you have to hit this like I think like 50 times. Uh, I think it was like a bug that they um, left in. Um, <laughs> it's just a very useless um, uh, hidden passage. I think this is the one. Just, I'll, I'll give it a minute. Um, but, uh, yeah, the, um, I think it's really funny that uh, the developers left in a, uh, like, a bugged door. Like, they know about it. And it's just like, ah, you know, whatevs. If I were able to use the Whirly Gig Saw, um, I could use the weapon skill to just, like, buzz through the door pretty easily, but... I thought this was it. I was wrong. Either way, um, we uh, we basically explored Volcano Manor. There, we, we found a couple of exits to it. So um, in the next episode, I, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get through um, probably the front entrance I, I, uh, instead of the back one that we just found. 
because I want to make sure that um, I want to make sure that I explore a little bit of the land area before I start kind of diving around in the secret areas. So, yeah, I guess that's not the door. All right, um, yeah, so uh, we're going to wrap up here, and uh, in the next episode we'll be going out the front entrance and trying to find uh, whatever that gigantic creature was. It looked like a giant grunk, but yeah. So I'll see you all in the next episode.